In this video, we're going to look at some applications of multiplying fractions. What kind of real-life situations would you need to multiply fractions in order, to, or, uh, in order to come up with a solution? All right, so this first example we have says, Sammy can run two and a half miles in ten minutes. How many miles can he run in an hour? Well, we know he can run two and a half miles in ten minutes. So we have we want to know how far he can run in an hour. So we got to think, well, how many 10 minutes are in an hour? And we know that there's 60 minutes in an hour. So basically, if he's going to run these 10 minute segments here, he's going to run this two and a half miles six times. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30, 40, 50, 60. So he's got to run this two and a half miles six times. So we're going to times it by six. Okay, that'll tell us how, how many miles he can run in an hour so, or 60 minutes. Looks like we've got a mixed number times a whole number. We need to change these to fractions so there's just a numerator and denominator. So for a mixed number we're going to go two times two which is four plus one is five. Five halves times 6, that's a whole number. We always write our whole numbers as a fraction, 6 over 1. All right, anything I can cancel here? Let's see, what do you think? I think this 2 and this 6 we could cancel. Let's do that. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 6 three times. This looks like it's going to come out nice. 5 times 3 is 15. I'll go this way so I don't run out of room. 1 times 1 is 1. 15 divided by 1, we should just write that as 15. So what's my label here? What are we answering? How many miles can he run in an hour? He can run 15 miles. And actually, since we figured out how many miles he can run in one hour, we've figured out basically his rate, how fast he can run. He can run 15 miles per hour, or in one hour. That's pretty good. That's pretty fast. Okay, let's look at another example. And maybe on this example you can pause the video and see if you can figure it out yourself. Let's read it together first. In a recent survey, 500 dentists, I should say dentists, not 500 dentists. Well, let's put an S there just for good measure. In a recent survey, 500 dentists were asked what toothpaste they preferred. Crest was recommended by three-tenths of the dentists. There we go again. How many of the 500 dentists polled recommended Crest? So we got 500 dentists that were asked uh, what toothpaste they preferred, and three-tenths of them said they liked Crest. So how many dentists was that? If you want to pause it and see if you can figure it out, now would be a good time. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to figure out what is 3 tenths of 500. 3 tenths of these dentists rec uh, recommended crest. They like crest. So in this context, when you have a fraction and then the word of, that means multiply. So 3 tenths times 500. And we're going to write that 500 as 500 over 1. We've got some nice canceling we can do here with this 10 and this 500. When you have numbers that end in a 0, that both end with a 0, and you're canceling, you can basically just cross out however many zeros they have in common. What you're doing there is you're dividing by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 500 divided by 10 is 50. That's kind of a little shortcut. All right, so we'll multiply straight across. 3 times 50 is 150. 1 times 1 is 1. 150 divided by 1 is 150. And always with your story problems, you want to label 150 what? Let's see, what are how many of the 500 dentists polled? So we got 150 dentists. That's how many preferred crest. Well, I hope this, uh, these applications problem helped you to identify what kind of problems you would use for multiplying fractions.